like, who am I right now? I have on a cut crease. I have on contour. I have on lashes. I don't even recognize myself. But it's cool, change is good, right? Hey y'all, what's up, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing Fall Glam, The Works, foundation, concealer, highlighting, well, you know, a little bit of highlighting, a touch of highlight, contour, lashes, bold lips, and a cut crease eye look. I don't like cut creases. It's not my thing. I see a lot of beautiful ones and I think that is fantastic, but for me and my style and my taste is just not my thing. However, I got a comment, I can't remember who left it, but they said, I know we're keeping it simple, but I would love to see a cut crease on your eye shape. So I was like, you know what? Let's mix it up, let's switch it up, let's do something different. So that's what I did today. I did my version, a softer version of a cut crease, if you will. So let me know if you guys are feeling this look. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the tutorial. All right, priming with L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I love this for blurring and smoothing my skin. And we're going in with Fenty Foundation in the shade 420. And y'all know I'm using my favorite Makeup Forever brush. I have plenty of videos on it where I talk about it, so make sure you check that out if you're interested. Then I'm taking the ABH Brow Wiz and Ebony to fill in my brows real quick. Taking some Kat Von D Lock It Cream Concealer, and I'm going to first start up with my Real Techniques brush, just simply because I like the coverage. You get more coverage with that. And then once I have it blended out with the brush, I'll go on the outside just to make sure you know there aren't any lines with the cosmetic sponge to blend everything out. Setting the under eye area with Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder, and number two with a Real Techniques setting brush. Moving on, we did a little cream contour. I did a video on simple contouring too, so if you want to see that, I'll make sure to add it above and below, taking a stippling brush to blend it out. Then we're going to contour that jaw just a little bit. And then once we get the cream contour on, I like to set my entire face with translucent powder. Again, I talk about all of these steps and techniques and why I do it in my simple contour video. And then to furthermore intensify that contour, I'm taking my ABH Powder Contour Palette with the deepest shade. Y'all, that is a bomb contour, so if you're in my shade, check that out because it's really, really good. Not too cool, not too warm. Then we're gonna touch the cheeks with some Wet n Wild Blush, one of my favorites, and Mellow Wine. And then a little bit of a glow. We're using the Laura Mercier Glow Powder. This stuff is my favorite. If you're oily, texture skin like me, and you don't like highlighter, check it out. Okay. This is our eye look, y'all. We're doing a cut crease today, a soft cut crease. So gonna go ahead, prime it. Next up, we're taking the first shade here. I don't do my cut crease, I guess traditionally how you see it a lot. I'm not gonna sit here and blow smoke up your behind and tell you that a cut crease is easy because it's not. It is not, it takes a lot of practice. So I like to just draw out first where my crease is and I'm using a Bobbi Brown brow brush. I like to use a very, very tightly packed brush and as you'll see I'll start with a lighter shade while I'm drawing it out and then I'll start to get a little bit deeper and deeper so I'm not taking this all the way into the inner corner but I'm going to start a little bit more of a quarter of a way and then flicking it out next up taking the shade juicy and we're going to pack this shade on the inner corner and halfway through to the lid but don't take it over the crease that we just drew out Next up, I'm taking my next shade, which I believe is Bing, and I'm just gonna go ahead and press that on the outer corner and flick that out too. Oh, in case you're wondering, I use the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion and Caffeine. I don't like using concealers on my eyes. And then just to furthermore clean it up, I'm gonna take some translucent powder, just kinda add it as a guide, so that way when I'm flicking it out, it doesn't get too, too crazy, too messy. And we're going to just go ahead and furthermore trace it again. Now we're going to take the shade Privacy and we're going to deepen up that crease. So basically how I like to do it is I freehand it, just kind of sketch it out with lighter shades and then just build on it and build on it. The first thing that's really, really important is initially that first when you're first tracing it out. And then to blend it a little bit more, I'm gonna take more of a tinier blending brush, very, very like dome type packed. Next up, 
we're going to take some of that juicy shade. I want to bring it up into the inner tear duct just a little bit. So in the inner tear duct, then we're going to go over where we drew out our crease. And then to deepen it further, the cherry palette doesn't have a black, so I got the black from the sultry. And as you'll see, it's going to instantly intensify it. And then once I get that perfectly sketched out the way I want, I'm going to go back in with privacy and another blending brush. And we're just going to blend above it so that way it's just a little bit softer. Again, I'm not a the huge fan of cut creases, so if I do it, I want it to be just a softer version of it. Then we're just going to go back in again, everything we laid down for the lid, we're just going to pack it on a little bit more to give it a little bit more intensity because with doing especially a lot of shadow work, you have to add and blend out and add a little bit more. And then we're going to do the same thing again with that inner tear duct color with the shade Juicy and just really, really making sure we're pressing that so that way it's nice and intensified. And then for some lower lash line, I'm just going to take the shade Privacy and flick that out a little bit more so that those two corners meet on the outside. Then taking a shade, a turn on, it's just a nice shimmer. And we're gonna pop that in the inner tear duct with the pencil brush. Threw on some liner, mascara, and lashes. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And that is going to wrap up this fall glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Down below, let me know if you are digging this, if you wanna see more dramatic looks like this. I am gonna have a little bit more drama coming up just simply because we are hopping into the holiday party season. So I've got a lot of cool things that I'm gonna be playing with. I'm gonna have, I think I might have a few models, we'll see, but definitely be on the lookout. We'll have a little bit more of some glam moments, all right? So thank you guys so much for watching. I know. I always say keep it simple. This isn't exactly simple, and I know that you guys are like, you're making for the everyday woman, but you know, we gotta switch it up sometimes. So we're still gonna keep it simple. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.